I grew up on the south side of Pittsburgh. I went to high school there for almost three years and just couldn't take it. So a group of us decided to drop out, which was great for a couple of months. Just hanging loose, shooting pool, fucking around, you know? Do you have to cut it so short? Then my old man stepped in, and I was out looking for a job. There was nothing there for me. There were a few skilled jobs I didn't have any training for, but I had to keep looking. Did you draw up yet? No, sir. Get over there and get a towel draw. About a month later, when I got my induction notice, it really looked good to me. I hadn't turned up anything myself, and this was everything I needed. Money, job, training. Everyone look at me. I'm going to show you how to make a bowl out of your bowl to send them home. You will send everything home that is in your bed. When you have that done, you take your shoes and put them down next to the car. Then you roll it up tight and tie it up with your belt. Is that clear? This afternoon, you dropped your rifle. Yes, sir. You had to drop it, huh? No, sir. What do you mean, no, sir? You did, didn't you? Yes, sir. Are you calling me a liar? No, sir. And why did you have to drop it? I don't know, sir. Get out of here. All right, sir. Yeah, move, move. My rifle without me is useless. Without my rifle, I am useless. Beverly, Beverly! Everybody will do it. If any of you have any burning sensation in the eyes, your protective mask is not in good working order. Remove your mask. <laughs> I mean, if you got a shot of the deadly mustard gas in your face, and you take your N60 mask off to put your N50 ointment on your face, you'll die! <laughs> I remember one thing. On the Bennett course, we only teach the art of killing, and that's all. That's what I like to see, a little man get out here and do something. That's all it takes. It's not how big you are, it's how good and aggressive you are. Right, you two get out, give me two more. Each man will take one knife, one fork, and one spoon. Do a foot in your right hand. You will hold a tray with both hands. The next thing you see will be a cup. You will put it in your left hand. Basic training has a purpose. It breaks us down until we're ready to do everything the military wants us to do, without any questions. Swallowing the shit and taking the petty harassment is called obedience. Disobey, ask the wrong questions, step out of their line, and they throw us in the stockade. 